Okay, so here we can see the, the phone is FRP locked or Google lock. So we can just begin locking it. So we're gonna go back to the connect to Wi-Fi. We're gonna click where it says um, add new uh, uh, new network. Then we're gonna press on the mic microphone uh, button. We're gonna press deny. Then we're gonna press on the microphone icon again, and we're gonna press deny once again then we're gonna press again on the mic microphone uh, button and we're gonna press allow from there we're gonna go where it says permissions then we're gonna search we're gonna click on the search icon and we're gonna type in um, settings the word the word settings oops I I dropped my phone right here okay go back um so we type in settings And we're gonna search for the um, settings icon, which is the one with. It's gonna be, I believe, the third option. The one with the little circle around it. And we're gonna click on open. Once we are on the settings of the phone, we're gonna go to accessibility. We want to scroll down. And we're going to go where it says accessibility menu right there. And we're going to enable it. Allow. Got it. So now if you can see with two fingers if you scroll from the bottom of the of the phone up you're gonna see this menu that is gonna show up, okay? So now that we have that menu enabled, we're gonna go back to the settings, the phone settings. We're gonna scroll up and we're gonna go where it says, we're gonna go up. And it says apps and notifications. We're gonna go to app info. Then we're gonna open the menu, uh, the top menu where three dots are, which is uh, show um, system apps. And then once we are on the system apps we're gonna look for Android setup the first one now here we're gonna force stop it we'll click on the force stop hit ok then we're gonna go where it says store storage and catched and we're gonna delete the the storage yeah, we're gonna delete that we're gonna go back one time and we're gonna disable it once disabled we're gonna go back and we're gonna go where it says Android setup as well but the, the second option the one the option that is underneath the option that we just open right now which is the one with the blue 
um, gear icon. And all we over here, what we're gonna do is just gonna force stop it. And delete the catch. Go back. And go back once again to all the um, apps. Right here. Then we're gonna go look for so yeah, we got the Android setup, Android setup, both of them. Then we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go where it says Google Play um, services. No, not carry services, but Google Play services. There you go, Google Play services. Here's, this is really important. The only thing that we're going to have to do is we are just going to disable it. Don't force stop it. Don't click on storage and, and catch. No, just disable it. Okay, so disable app. Then we're going to go back to the main screen. We're going to click back, back, back 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 okay so until we get to this screen we're gonna let it we're gonna let it do its thing this takes a little bit time try to click on the back button a couple times to see if it, if it can brings you to the um to the ad network screen so just click click back or touch on the back um button Right here is his phone activation. Click next. Hit next again. And then right here when it's searching, um, checking for updates. Just gonna leave it a little bit for a second. Okay, there you go. So once you press, keep on pressing on the back button so it takes you back to the hide there um, screen. So you can go to this next, next. And if you press on the back button, once again, it's going to take you to the connect Wi-Fi. So we, we're trying to get to this screen, okay? So just keep on pressing back and stuff, you know, until you get to this screen. Once you deactivate all those apps. From there, we're going to, with your, with two fingers, you're going to uh, swipe up. And then we're going to touch where it says assistant. Since we have disabled the Google Play services, it's going to tell you to go to settings and to enable it, right? So press where it says settings then enable it and once you enable it
go back and then press where it says skip continue more accept skip and basically at this point you have bypassed the FRP lock on the Motorola um, from here all you gotta do is just go to the settings and, um, and just reset it once again to the factory, um, factory uh, settings and FRP or the Google Lock account will be, be will be um, removed from the device.